Hello everybody and welcome back to another one of our 7 star terror raid build videos. Uh, as of earlier today, I believe uh, we had the next 7 star raid boss announced, which is going to be the Terra Ground Torterra here. Uh, I was kind of expecting Terra Ground, I didn't want to like make any builds for it in advance just in case I was wrong. I could have seen it being Dragon or something similar to, but Terra Ground seems pretty fitting for Tor Torterra. It, it is already the ground type, obviously it has grass and ground as its original typings and again, Terra type ground, but you know, ground seemed like a pretty... A good type for this is like a world turtle type Pokemon. Let's get into its moves real quick though. Of course, Earthquake I feel like is a staple we're going to see. I also think we're going to see Headlong Rush. That's kind of a new move they gave Torterra that made it very good. Of course, that's like a ground type close combat. For those of you that don't know, it's a very powerful, hard-hitting move. Um, Wood Hammer is also a great move Torterra gets. It's a high damage grassy move that is a little bit of recoil, but because of how the recoil is calculated in the Terra Raid build video, or the Terra Raids, um, it'll be like substantially less, so I could definitely see them running it. Uh, Zen Head puts a great coverage option that this Pokemon gets. It helps take down some things that are weak to Psychic, like fighting Pokemon, Poison types, if you're planning on bringing those. Not sure why you want to really bring a Poison type to this, but just in case you were for whatever reason. Um, also gets Rock Slide and Crunch as other very good coverage options. I can remember being a kid and having a Torterra and Pokemon Diamond that ran Crunch, and that was my first real like exposure to coverage as an idea. So I was, you know, I saw it on here and I was like, this could probably run Crunch. It's a pretty alright move that it gets. Iron Defense and Body Press are also pretty good moves that this Pokemon gets. It already has a very high defense, like a base defense stat, so Iron Defense can be used to boost that even more, and then Body Press can be used to make some uh, fighting-type damage. You know, be doing quite a bit already, even especially with a couple Iron Defenses set up behind it, it'll be doing quite a bit of damage. Um, it also gets Smackdown and Hard Press, which is worth mentioning. Um, Smackdown obviously makes Flying-type Pokemon no longer in the air, so we'll be able to hit my moves like Headlong Rush and Earthquake, so be careful about that. And Hard Press is kind of like a Steel-type Water Spout, uh, I actually didn't know Hard Press was a move until I was looking into moves this Pokemon gets. That's a bit of a fun one. Um, I'm not really sure if it'd run it, but it was, a, it was a cool move, so I thought I'd throw it on here. Of course, Torterra gets the Overgrow ability as a Grass-type starter Pokemon, and its hidden ability, which is likely what it's going to run, is going to be Shell Armor, which means it can't be critical hit. So don't be really pressing Focus Energy against this Pokemon, because it's most likely going to be running Shell Armor. As a pure Ground-type Pokemon, Torterra is going to be weak to Water, grass and ice i would heavily recommend not running any water types against this pokemon or if you do have some other typing as we do with our builds here that kind of complement that to make it so it's not weak to the actual wood hammers or other grass type moves this pokemon might run Torterra is going to be in terror raids from november 15th to november 17th and november 22nd to 24th um with that being said let's get right on over to our builds our first one over here we've got uh, a bit of a theme with these terror raid build videos out or these this terror raid uh, video. We'll, we'll get into it as we get through the Pokemon, but I've kind of got a, a fun idea going here where I wanted to focus around some different weather formats. Our first one here being Rain. We've got Pelipper with the normal typing of Water and Flying. You're going to want to give it the Terra type of Grass, which is a little bit interesting, but again, Terra type Water would make it so if once it terrestrializes, it'll be weak to Torterra's Grass type moves, which you definitely don't want. This thing's going to be hitting like a truck. Helldime's going to be the Damp Rock. Make sure the rain lasts a little bit longer. And when it comes to its move, you're going to give it Muddy Water as its main damage output. This Pokemon really isn't focused around dealing a whole lot of damage, but Muddy Water is a pretty high damage dealing move, and it lowers the opponent's accuracy, which can be pretty useful against Torterra. I have a few of those accuracy drops. Torterra is going to start missing attacks, which can definitely help your team. Terra Blast. Once you can Terrestrialize and get that Grass having Terra Blast is going to be dealing quite a bit more damage. Um, before you get there, Muddy Water is probably going to be dealing more. Realistically, Muddy Water probably just deals more in general, from now that I'm thinking about it. Um, so I'd probably stay pressing Muddy Water unless you're starting to miss attacks and you like need to hit an attack, then go for Terra Blast. But again, uh, Muddy Water also lowers the accuracy, which is pretty useful. Not 100% accurate, so if you need a consistent move, Terra Blast your go-to. Chilling Water is a great way to help build up to your Terra if you, for whatever reason, really need to get there. It lowers the Torterra's attack guaranteed. I'd recommend opening with one or two of these to make sure Torterra is not hitting you as hard with some extra moves. And Aqua Ring will help your Pelipper stick around for a little bit longer on the field, giving a little bit of extra HP regen each turn. When it comes to EVs, you want to max out HP, put 192 points in defense, and put 64 into special attack to make so it can deal a little bit of extra damage while still taking a hit pretty well. Again, Drizzle is going to be this thing's ability, and you're going to give the bold nature, which is plus defense and minus attack. Moving on to our next Pokemon, we've got another rain focus Pokemon here. We've got Ludicolo. Ludicolo, of course, is a water and grass Pokemon, and you're going to give it the terror type of grass. Shovel is going to be this thing's held item. This thing works really well with the Pelipper. If you and a friend can get going into these raids, one of you can run a Pelipper, one of you can run a Ludicolo, and they complement each other very well. You're going to give it Giga Drain as its main damage output. That obviously heals you as you damage on top of the shovel, so it's a pretty good way to gain your health back. Rain Dance on this thing, just in case you don't have a Pelipper or the rain goes down, set the rain back up. Muddy Water for some good damage, especially in that rain, and Chilling Water for the same reason it's on Pelipper to help you get to your Terra. And once you get there, you can start really pressing those Muddy Waters, and if you need a little bit of extra healing, the shovel is not doing enough for you. Press the Giga Drain. 
Rain Dish is going to be the ability to run on this Pokemon. Gives it a little bit of extra passive healing in the rain. So either set up from that Bellifor or that Rain Dance move. Um, and when it comes to EVs, you're going to max out HP, max out special attack, and put the last four points into defense. Um, you're going to give this thing the Modest Nature, which is plus special attack and minus attack. And I did mention that it's Rain Dish. I should also mention, when it comes to IVs, uh, for both Pelipper and Ludicolo, everything matters except your attack stat. Um, we're going to be hitting Corterra primarily from the special side, because its defense is slightly higher than special defense. Um, I think we only have one actual physical attacker on this raid uh, build roster here, so um, mostly special attackers. Moving on to our next Pokemon and our next weather format, we've got Obama Obama Snow. Um, Obama Snow is going to be running the Grass and Ice type as its typical typing. And it's going to be Terra type Grass. Tell them is going to be the Shell Bell. And we get over to its moves. Of course, this thing is going to have Snow Warning to set up Snow the moment it enters the field. You want an Aurora Veil as its real big draw here. It makes it so you're taking half as much from those uh, either special and physical moves, but primarily the physical moves that Terra is probably going to be running. I did some calculations, and believe it or not, Grass Knot, I believe, actually does more than Blizzard. Um, Torterra is a very heavy Pokemon, and so this Grass Knot's going to be hitting very, very hard with the 120 base power that it's maximum. Chilling Water, again, on here for the same reason that you have it on Pelipper and Ludicolo. Make sure you can take a lot more damage from the Torterra by lowering its attack set early on. And then Leech Seed is a great way to make sure your Bomb Snow can stick around, especially before you've really started to heal back with that Shell Bell or before the Torterra has started to get nerfed a lot with the Chilling Water. Snow Warning, again, is going to be this Pokemon's ability, and when it comes to EVs, you're going to max out its HP, but 108 points in a special attack and 148 in a defense. This thing is going to be the Modest Nature, which is, once again, plus special attack and minus attack, and when it comes to IVs, everything matters except this Pokemon's attack stat, since you're not using it. We've gone to our next Pokemon, another Pokemon of the Snow format. We've got Ninetales, Alolan Ninetales specifically. Um, its Terra type is going to be Ice, and it's Typical typing is going to be Ice Fairy. You're going to give it the Light Clay Held item. I'm sure you guys can see where this is going. This thing's also going to be running Aurora Veil to make it so it can set up an Aurora Veil early on. You're not taking a whole lot of damage from those moves from Torterra, hopefully. Blizzard, a great damage output from this Pokemon. You got Nasty Plot on there in case you realize you're taking hits pretty well and you want to start dealing a whole lot more with your Blizzard to go for that Chilling Water to get you to your Terra. I'd heavily recommend... Um, maybe leading with a couple chilling waters before anything just in case Rotera, like even behind Aurora Veil can hit pretty hard so going for a few chilling waters so it really starts to take a lot more your team starts to take a lot less damage and then set up a nasty plot if you want and then start going for those blizzards you should have plenty of time in the snow you have eight turns from when or five turns when the pokemon hits the field and then like no yeah eight turns because you have light clay because you're looking for a rare veil not specifically the snow um but blizzard will only be 100 percent accurate if it's snowing so keep that in mind um, Snow Warning, of course, is going to be this Pokemon's ability, and when it comes to its EVs, you want to max out HP, max out Special Attack, and put the last four points in defense. When it comes to its IVs, everything matters once again, except its attack stat, and this thing is, once again, going to be the Modest Nature. Like the Hell, then it's pretty important. Again, that makes Aurora Veil last eight turns as opposed to the five. And again, keep in mind, even though Aurora Veil will last for eight turns, Snow will only last for five, so your Blizzard will stop being 100% accurate after a little bit. Just keep that in mind. Moving on to our next Pokemon, we're stepping out of the weather formats here. We've just got a couple fun builds here. We've got Orthworm. I thought I saw the moment I saw the Torterra, I immediately thought of Orthworm as a counter. And I don't know if it's going to be incredible, but I think it's going to be a fun one. I'm going to try it out. Orthworm, of course, being a steel type Pokemon, you're going to give you the Terra type of grass and give it the leftovers held item. What makes Orthworm interesting is its ability Earth Eater. Earth Eater makes it that this Pokemon is instead healed by ground type moves, which is primarily what the Torterra is probably going to be using, of course, as a Terra type ground and as a ground Pokemon right off the bat. You're going to give this Pokemon Mud Slap to, you know, help you get to your Terra, lower Torterra's actual uh, accuracy, which can help you stick around for a little bit longer. Got a helping hand if you notice someone on your team is doing a lot of damage and you want to focus on helping them as opposed to setting yourself up. But in case that's not the right position you're in, you've got Coil there, which increases your defense, attack, and accuracy. You don't really care about the accuracy, but the attack and defense boost is pretty nice. And then... After a couple months laps, you can press that Terra Blast. You'll be hitting for grass type damage. You'll be doing a whole lot of damage to that Torterra after a couple of coils. When it comes to EVs, you want to max out HP, put 132 points in defense, and 124 no attack. And give this thing the adamant nature, which is plus attack and minus special attack. When it comes to IVs, everything matters on this Pokemon except for its special attack stat. I think Orthrum's gonna be a really fun Pokemon to try to use. Again, I don't know if it's gonna be phenomenal, but I think it'll be a fun one, and I'm looking forward to trying to get to use it. We've got our last Pokemon. We've got one that some of you probably already have built in some way. We've got Superior here. Superior, of course, being a grass type Pokemon and Terra type Grass. Terra type of Stellar would also work here, but I think Grass is easier to get because it's the only Terra type you can catch this Pokemon like just in the wild in the Blueberry Academy. So this should work here since we know what Torterra's Terra type is going to be. You're going to give this thing the Shell Bell Hold item to give it some passive healing as it deals some damage. I should have mentioned. I th I think I forgot to mention Shell Bell for Ludicolo as well, Bomba Snow as well. 
And then again, leftovers for uh, Earthworm. I know I mentioned for Nine Tails when he'd like clay. I know I made that very clear. <laughs> anyway, back to Superior. Grass type, turn up grass, shell bell. When it comes to moves, a very typical Superior raid build set here. You got grassy terrain, so you get a little bit of extra healing and powers up grass moves a little. Giga drain, so if you realize you're not healing, healing as much as you want with the shell bell, you go for this, hopefully after you've gotten a couple pluses from Leaf Storm. Using Leaf Storm with the contrary ability, which is really important to have on this Pokemon, will make it so instead of uh, taking your attack down by two stages, it'll boost your attack by two stages. So you really start to snowball with those Leaf Storms. You've got Reflect on here. I definitely recommend leading with the Reflect so that you're taking a whole lot less damage from the Torterra. That'll make it so you can stick around on the field, get a couple of Leaf Storms in, and then go for some Giga Drains if you realize you're not healing as much, or if you've just run out of power points in your Leaf Storm. When it comes to EVs, you want to max out HP, max out Special Attack, and put the last four points in Defense. And when it comes to IVs, everything matters on this Pokemon except for its attack stat. With that being said, that's all the raid builds we have here for today. If you want the most consistent one, I definitely recommend Superior. I think it's going to be your best option. But all these Pokemon should hopefully work pretty well. Orthrum's a little iffy, but I'm excited to see if it works. You know, Orthrum's a cool Pokemon. I'm excited to try to get to use it. Thank you guys so much for watching this Terra Raid build video. Hope to see you guys out in the Terra Raid build dens out there. Good luck. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.